That's right, Jason. Hudsonville and Zeeland West had 59 combined wins coming into tonight. Both won a conference championship as well. Things did not go the Eagles' way early on. They were down 2 0 in the third inning when they played at six runs and cruised to a 6 4 victory. I think our resilience. There's a reason why Hudsonville softball coach Tom Verjink has over a thousand wins in his career. He relies on great senior leaders like the nine on his current roster when things get tough. We had a couple of uh, plays that uh, they worked really well on us with a couple of bunts. The Eagles trailed 2 0 in the top of the third inning. <laughs> when the offense came alive with three consecutive RBI doubles to plate six runs, all a part of that resiliency and leadership. I mean, the first few innings didn't go our way, but if we wouldn't have stuck through, we wouldn't have gotten the win. So just got to keep pushing through and we'll come alive eventually. Eight of the Eagles hitters in their lineup would record hits on Tuesday night, helping them to a 6-4 win over the Ducks to advance. We don't have that major person that we can rely on that's going to get two, three, four hits a game with five RBIs. We have our RBIs are scattered from one through nine through the lineup. So we've got different kids doing it every day. One through nine, we're pretty solid. I mean, as you can see, everyone gets hits when we need it. And senior Alyssa Brom had it rolling in the circle for the Eagles. She would face some trouble, just like in the sixth inning when the tying run reached second base, but she would battle through, striking out 13 hitters in the complete game effort. We never doubted her, even though we had a pitcher warming up. We knew that being our senior leader, she was going to take us home. I mean, I was nervous at first, but once our bats started going, I had no doubt that we were going to do, we were going to pull through. So win number one is officially out of the way, and now the Eagles advance to face a familiar OK Red foe in Jenison. That game will be on Saturday at Granville High School at 10 a.m. Reporting from Zeeland, Zach Herrick, Fox 17 News.